painted the engravings. I'm not sure if you can really see this because of the way that the light is. Um, but I painted the engravings on the slide on this side. On this slide, I didn't do the uh, serial number, um, but I did do the little Glock symbol right there. Um, and I like it too because it matches on the uh, Metro Light, matches their, uh, their little markings, and uh, came out really good. Um, I also did the top of the barrel. I'm not sure if you can see that in the light. Um, I'll put some pictures of what it looks like. It looks a lot nicer. Um, and this part, obviously, since it's you know an inset, it's it's not going to get shaved off when the gun is fired. Um, and it came out pretty good. And then um, I did the mags as well, um, which you know I, I really love how they came out. They came out really cool. Um, it was really easy to do. All I did was I got some uh, rubbing, al rubbing alcohol and a, a rag, basically wherever you were, wherever I was going to paint um, with the rag and the rubbing alcohol. I would wipe it down really good, get all the, you know, the, the, the oil and any kind of dirt and anything out of there for the paint to adhere. Um, I went and got a uh, some model car paint uh, test stores. Uh, Found a cool color that I like. This was a uh, fluorescent green. Um, came out pretty nice. And all I did was I shook it up a little bit. It's, it's, a lot of people say add paint thinner to it. I didn't find it necessary. Um, I mean, the paint was pretty thin and free flowing on its own. So then I just got my skewer. You could use a toothpick. And I just kind of engraved it in there, tapped it in there, um, made sure no air bubbles were in there. And then once I was done and I, and I was confident that, it, that the paint filled up all the engraving, I kind of wiped the excess off. Um, I let it sit and dry. Uh, and then what I did is I, I found some of the people say, said that they used, you know, the cleaning solvent to, to lightly with the rag to go over it. Um, for me, what I noticed was the cleaning solvent got in the engravings too easily and pulled the paint. So I just went and used some uh, rubbing alcohol again, the paper towel, and just lightly, very, very lightly go back and forth. Um, takes a lot of patience. Um, sometimes it does take long, uh, longer than others. Make sure that the paper doesn't doesn't get dry as you're doing this, because what will happen is then the paint will stick to the paper towel, and you'll actually pull it, uh, pull the paint out of the engravings. So just go nice and easy back and forth. Um, very painless, not messy at all. Uh, I did it actually right here. Um, it was really easy to do. Uh, and then once the, the paint dried, uh, I went again, went back over with uh, my uh, the, gun, the gun cleaning solvent. I hops number nine, wiped the whole gun down again because when you use rubbing alcohol, you kind of strip it of any oils that help protect the, uh, the metal and moving parts. So I went ahead back in and uh, put them back. So this was the painting of my Glock 30S. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.